Yeah. So following all about the security news of the blunder of insecure repositories in KDE Neon, I have decided to reinstall my operating system here. I'm going to keep with KDE Neon, I'm really happy with it. I well, hope it was just a one-off mistake of theirs. But I don't feel like spending much time on this. And I'm going to take the lazy man's approach for doing this. So what I have on my system is an operating system drive. So slash root is on one solid state disk and slash home is on another solid state disk. So I'm just going to reinstall everything onto the root drive. So my home drive should be okay. He says, doesn't matter. I've done a backup in Clonezilla. So if it does all go wrong, it's fine. But not everything will reinstall correctly. So I'm just going to make a note of what repositories I have on the system. I'll need that. And I need to make a note of certain configuration changes. And that was the wrong window to open up there because I just covered myself up, didn't I? But never mind. What I wanted was that one there for fstab. Just because I made a change of mounting the NFS drives on there. That's all I needed. Actually, I've got a note of that elsewhere, so that doesn't matter too much. The lazy approach which I'm taking is to take a copy of all packages which I have installed on the system. And I could do that with dpkg get selections and pipe it through to a new file called software.txt. Now, I meant to do .txt, didn't I? That'll do. So, cat software.txt, and that'll be a massive list. That is it. Now I'm going to reinstall the operating system. So this was my effort to reinstall the packages, and it didn't exactly go quite as planned. So the command I was using there was sudo dpkg set selections and using the data from the software.txt file. And I had a lot of these warnings here. Warning, package not in database. This was because I couldn't remember the exact name of some of the repositories. It was all written in a LibreOffice text file. However, I didn't have LibreOffice installed. Small problem there. So I had to go through and manually edit the file and remove some of those lines in that corresponding list. Eventually I got it down to a point where it would install, but even that didn't go quite as planned because I ended up with about 4 gigs worth of packages to be installed, of which there were 10 kernels. I should have done an apt-get, auto-clean and auto-remove before taking the package list. Whoops, lesson learnt there. So when it made a mess of that software database, I had to use that sudo deselect update to clear all the errors. And I had to install Kate to mess around with the file. I could have done it through Nano, but it would have taken too long, and I just prefer to use the GUI text editor. Yeah, KD Neon is a very basic distro. So when that command there finally worked, sudo dpkg set selections with the import in the software.txt file, I was able to use the command here next, so sudo apt-get deselect upgrade. I'm not actually running them here, and I forgot to take some screenshots of that part. So all in all, that did require a bit of messing around, but I think in the long run it probably was easier. The difficulties I had there were just trying to sort out my package list and then removing some of the older kernels. That's not particularly hard to do. What would have been harder to do was for me to think of everything that I had installed on the operating system. So, back up and running, and hopefully it'll stay that way for a while. Fingers crossed. Thanks for watching. See you all later.